Previously on Space Week. Is your pod open? <coughs> yeah, my pod just opened. Are we there yet? Yeah, uh, cryo's over. It must have been 30 years. Oh. Jake, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, my muscles are just weak. Oh, we gotta get to the control panel. Uh, the cryo rejuvenation uh, kit. All right, looks like the system's in a reboot mode. Uh, checking over all the history logs for the past 30 years. Looks like there was no huge anomalies. About 15 years ago, we had one of the power cycles shut off, but that was rebooted fairly quickly. Other than that, life support systems have been fine. Hello, Jake. Hope you slept well. All systems are reporting 100%. Uh, this is Commander Papa Jake. Uh, we were unaware that there was an AI on board. My name is 727 Spark, and I am your onboard AI. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, 727 Spark, do you have any information on contacting Houston? I, ne I need to send them a message ASAP. Estimated travel time is 150 years to receive a signal. 150 years to get to them? How far out have we drifted? Jake, what do you mean we've drifted? It looks like we've drifted off course a little bit. We're still on target. In fact, we're right above it. We're in orbit with the planet itself. But we're over four times farther away than we initially thought. Whatever this thing is, it's moving through space. I don't know, this might not be good. Oh, oh. Jake, Jake, you need to take your cryomeds. You're right, you need to take yours as well. Nutrient infusers first. What exactly is this stuff? This is a nutrient infuser. It's gonna replenish all the nutrients that our bodies lost over 30 years of being in cryo. We're gonna have to share this. Our bodies can't exactly take a fresh cup of water right now. Introducing liquids that fast for our system could be catastrophic. This is a slow process, but it'll slowly get the fluids back into us. Don't drink it too fast, you'll throw up. And here, take one of these. Some sort of vitamin substance? No, it's just gum. Crow makes your breath smell. Alright, let's see if I can get a locationary rough idea as to the train down below. I'm gonna start scanning. Spark, can you do a scan of the planet's surface? I want to get an idea as to what we're dealing with here. Is it water? Is it gas? What are we looking at? Unfortunately, Jake, I am unable to pierce the surface of the planet. There is a strong magnetic field stopping all my readings. The magnetic field, that's that's what messed up with our electronics before we found it. it looks like the only way we're really going to be able to get any information is if we get down there on ground level. Except we have no idea what we're walking into. Spark, can you cycle the motors for the landing pod? I'm going to see if I can get that back online. We're going to need it to get down to the planet's surface. Cycling motors. Jake, are you sure it's a good idea we go down there? We don't know anything about this planet. That's a risk we're gonna have to take, Logan. It's part of our mission. Our mission is to get down there, collect any samples we can. We're talking about the future of the human race here. All right, if we're gonna go down there though and collect samples, we're gonna need to make sure the lab's up and running. Spark, do you have any ideas to the status of the laboratory? The laboratory is currently only 10% operational. The lab itself was never officially built. <sighs> what do you mean it wasn't built? All right, look, do we have enough supplies on the ship itself to build um, some form of a laboratory? At least something that we can hold our specimens in quarantine. We don't know what's down there, and exposing ourselves to it could be deadly. My records indicate that there should be enough supplies to get the laboratory up and operating. Perfect. Patch the list through now. Let's see if we have enough resources. Uh, okay, Logan, we're going to cycle power to the lab. we got to get this thing built and operational in the next two hours. We only have one shot at this once we come around the orbit. We've got to land on this planet. All right, I'll start prepping the lab. Well, it doesn't look like much right now, but this is so far what we have for the laboratory. There's really not a lot of supplies in here, and if we're going to go down to this planet and actually extract some items from it, whether it be aliens or even just plants, we need to make sure that we can put these into quarantine so we can properly examine them. This is so far what we have, but luckily we have enough supplies on the spaceship itself that we should be able to turn this into a lab in no time. I think right now, we gotta start building. The 
supplies we had, we were able to go ahead and make ourselves our very own laboratory. As you guys can see, we have everything that we need in this lab to actually go ahead and collect soil samples, other samples, life form samples, maybe even alien samples from the planet's surface itself. Once we have those samples though, we needed a place to quarantine them so that we could run tests on them. That's where this comes in handy. Check this out. So we have a quarantine chamber here, which allows us to actually put our hands through here. And using these gloves, we can actually interact with the samples themselves, all while making sure that we don't come in contact with it. We also have this option here so we can pump air in and out. We don't know what kind of atmosphere that these samples are gonna be in. So if they're in an oxygenless atmosphere, we'll need to pump out all the oxygen itself. Over here, we have our lab equipment which we are able to use if we need to run tests over here. We have uh, different solutions as well as different instruments. And the cool thing about this room here is once we close it, it is completely quarantined off. And then we can actually go in and put the specimens inside the quarantine zone itself. All while making sure we never come in contact with these alien specimens. Because guys, we don't know if they could harbor some sort of crazy sickness that we've never had before, or it could infect us and turn us into aliens. We gotta be super careful when going down to this planet, which means spacesuits on at all times. All right, now that the laboratory is set up, it's time to suit up and get into the landing pod. Remember, keep your helmet on at all times. We don't know what's down there. Scans of the planet itself reveals no information to us. I'm guessing that there's not gonna be regular oxygen, but we might run into some life forms. We're gonna use an extractor tool to collect samples. Once we're down there, we'll be able to use this thing to collect anything that looks like it's alive. Plants, material, maybe even insects. We don't know what kind of forms we're looking at. This should be able to make sure that anything we do collect stays out of contact with us. Remember, contamination is our number one priority. There's one other thing we need to bring. We don't know what's down there, so we're gonna need something to defend ourselves if by chance we do encounter some sort of advanced civilization. If we do get attacked, this should be enough to defend ourselves. But the spaceship only came with one. We weren't exactly prepared for an all-out alien war, so let's hope there's nothing bad down there. All right, we're gonna make our way to the pod. Depressurizing now. Again, make sure your helmet's down at all times. Check your life support systems and make sure you have enough oxygen. Depressurizing now. All right, let's get in. Now let's complete this mission. All right, we are good to descend down onto the planet surface. Checking life support systems. Life support systems are good. Emergency systems are good. We are clear to descend. Logan, how do we look for our descent onto the surface itself? Topography looks good, but I still don't have any information what's down there. Roger that. All right, all systems are a go. We are good to detach. Detaching in three, two, one. All right, we have detached from the space station. Should be a short cruise down into the atmosphere. Starting to get a little bit bumpier here. All right, G-Force is picking up. Looks like parachute system is still good. Entering second level of the atmosphere. We're almost there. Almost there, parachute acting in. Three, two, one. We are cruising. All systems hard go, oxygen's good, life support is good. It's definitely not oxygen we're looking at down here. I'm seeing leaves, looks like trees of some sort. Uh, it doesn't look like it's water, although it's off the charts in terms of poisonous. We're not going to be able to breathe down there. If anything does live down here. It's like something we've never seen before. Parachute's touching down. I'm going to be a little bumpy. Hold on. Okay. Well, we've landed. <sighs> no signs of advanced civilizations as far as I can tell, but we'll definitely want to bring out the self-defense blaster. This place looks similar to Earth. The tree structures are the same, but there's no way we can breathe this. The oxygen is made up of something we've never seen before. Keep it on your suit. There's also a lot of pressure here. The atmosphere is literally crushing my body. Looks like some form of life. Wait, Jake, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Use the extractor. Here, take this. Stand on guard. I've got whatever we found on the ground. Nothing looks to be alive. All my scans aren't showing any intelligent life or any other life at all. Let's get out of here.
breathe fresh air again. Oh, I was down to my last bit of oxygen in the suit. Well, we don't have enough oxygen on this landing pod for another expedition. We might be able to come back to the surface, but we were able to collect this sample. Luckily for us, it's in here, so there's no chance of contamination. Let's get ready to depart and rendezvous back with the space station. How are we looking on the outside there? Everything is looking clear to take off. We should be hitting the International Space Station in roughly five minutes. All right, roger that. All right, priming booster engines for our launch. Ready for launch in T-minus five, four, three, two, one. All right, the launch is successful. Ship is holding up well. Exiting the atmosphere. Go roger go. that. We are good for zero G's in three, two, one, launch it off. Should be steady sailing until we get back to the station. Roger that. Hey, do we have enough power to cycle the uh, gravity? Cycling gravity now. Whew. All right, we are good, gravity's on. Rendezvous should be in 30 seconds. I got a visual of the space station here. You know, I felt really cooped up on the space station, but there's something about this planet. It's giving me the creeps. All right, I've got her in my sights. Docking in three, two, one. All right, dock successful. Depressurized, let's head over. Okay, I've got the sample here. Now remember, we cannot come in contact with this. It needs to go straight into the quarantine box. I've got some different serums we can mix with it to try and figure out what this is, but as far as I can tell, this is something we've never seen before. Okay, once the specimen's inside, we need to quickly close the quarantine door. All right, door sealed. What does it look like? It's changing form. Hold on, I'm gonna try and adjust the air levels in here. Make it similar to what it's used to in its atmosphere. Okay, I'm going in. Seems like its form is changing in shape. Reacts slightly to touch. Scans are showing it's both alive and not at the same time. I don't quite understand. It looks okay. somewhat transparent. I don't see any cell structures inside of it. As far as I can tell though, there's no sign of it necessarily being toxic. The atmosphere on the planet itself is toxic for us, but coming in contact with this doesn't look like there's any issues here. Do you think it's an alien? I don't exactly know. It seems like it's alive, but I, I can't tell. Whatever you are, I want to find out what secrets do you hold. <laughs>